Hi everyone, and thank you for coming along to this session to find out more about studying chiropractic at Macquarie University. My name's Hazel Jenkins, I'm a chiropractor, a lecturer in the Department of Chiropractic, and the Undergraduate Program Advisor. So what is chiropractic? Chiropractic is a health profession concerned with the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of mechanical disorders of the musculoskeletal system. We also look at the effects of these disorders on the function of the nervous system and general health. There is an emphasis on manual treatments, including spinal adjustment and other joint and soft tissue manipulation. So what does this mean? Generally, chiropractors will treat people with pain. So they usually come in with back or neck pain, headaches, limb pain, and we'll be looking at those patients, diagnosing them, and trying to provide treatment that will help them get better quicker and get back to um, normal function and all their normal activities of daily living as quickly as possible. So to be able to do this, we need a number of different tools. And that's what you will learn during the um, Bachelor and Master of Chiropractic degrees at Macquarie University. So these tools include patient interviews, where we take a history of the patient and find out what's going wrong with them. Uh, we do a physical examination where we look at different structures within the body and try and work out what might be actually causing or creating their pain. Uh, this might include things like neurological screenings where we look at the nervous system in more detail. And we may also take x-rays of the patient so we can actually look at the bones and see what's going on with them more precisely. Once we've reached a diagnosis, we now hopefully know what's going on with the patient. We can now formulate a way to treat them so they get better as quickly as possible. And we've got a number of different treatment techniques that you'll learn throughout these degrees. They include joint manipulation or mobilization. This is where we get the joints moving um, so they're not restricted and they're not limiting the patient's movement. We do lots of soft tissue releases and different types of massage to try and release any tension within the, um, the muscles and again, try and reduce any pain that might be created from that. And then we can also give exercises to the patient, stretching and strengthening exercises so they can continue to improve their recovery when they're not in your office. So to get into the um, chiropractic degree programs and to become a chiropractor, the first thing you need to know is that you actually need to complete a Master of Chiropractic to become registered as a chiropractor in Australia. So there are two ways that you can get into that Master of Chiropractic. The first one is to study a Bachelor of Chiropractic Sciences here at Macquarie University. So to get into the bachelor degree, that has a selection rank of 80, and it is recommended that you have um, some knowledge of biology, maths, physics, and chemistry. However, these are not prerequisites, um, and we do have introductory units available within the degree program, and there are also bridging courses available if you haven't studied them before. If you complete and pass the Bachelor of Chiropractic Sciences, then you actually get direct entry into the Master of Chiropractic if you choose to follow that pathway. And you would then do a two-year um, degree program within the Master of Chiropractic and be able to be registered as a chiropractor at the end of that. If you don't do the Bachelor of Chiropractic Sciences here at Macquarie, then you need to do another health-related science degree, um, and that could be at Macquarie or it could be at a different institute. Within that degree, you need to study at least one unit of anatomy and one unit of uh, physiology. And you also need to have a weighted average mark of at least 50. And then you can apply for the Master of Chiropractic um, through our second pathway. If you come in through this pathway, the, um, the Master of Chiropractic will actually be a three-year degree program um, because you haven't done some of the chiropractic units that are included in our bachelor degree. And so you need to do those within that first year. So as implied here, there are two distinct pathways. The first pathway using the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science straight into the Master of Chiropractic would be a five-year program if you do it at the normal pace um, and do that full time. If you go through a different degree and come in through the three-year uh, Master of Chiropractic program, then it would be a six-year um, program as a minimum, again, if you were just following the, the normal full-time structure. So what will you study in our different degrees? So our Bachelor of Chiropractic Science um, does provide a science degree with some chiropractic units put into it as well. So you'll study some basic sciences like um, chemistry, biology, anatomy, um, physics, and then we'll also be doing some more practical subjects, um, our chiropractic units, which you'll do through all three years of the degree program. So it gives you a really good snapshot of what you'll be doing as a chiropractor and whether you enjoy that from a very early stage. Um, we also have some pathology units and some diagnosis subjects as well. Um, so we get a little bit more practical within that degree program. In the Master of Chiropractic, this one becomes very practical and very hands-on. We do lots of chiropractic units um, where you learn more about the different techniques that you would use as a chiropractor. 
Um, we would do a number of other diagnosis units, so things like neurology, orthopedics, radiology, um, all the components that you need to be a practicing chiropractor. And finally, in your final year of the master's program, you actually do a clinical internship as well, where you actually practice as a chiropractor. So as a chiropractor, there are a number of different career opportunities. Now, most people do go from the degree into private practice. Um, and for most people who come straight out of the degree, they will usually work in a, an already established private practice for another chiropractor. And here you would be seeing patients who coming from the public, they would um, uh, you know, present, as I said, with pain usually, and we'll be working on ways to try and improve their pain and to treat them, get them better quicker. Um, you can also start your own practice immediately, or you can do that a few years down the track, but that's where most people will be as chiropractors. There are other potential opportunities though, because you do, um, coming from either the bachelor degree with a science degree and then from the master's degree, you have a good training in um, science and health related subjects. Um, so there are also opportunities within insurance companies, so things like workers' compensation, advising on rehabilitation plans, medical legal advising. So there are a number of different opportunities that you could also um, make yourself available for. The last one there is also research and teaching, and we have a good research program that we run here at Macquarie University. Um, and you might want to go into that to do a PhD and to look at a more academic pathway. So as a chiropractor, and this is particularly talking about chiropractors in clinical practice, um, there are about uh, just over 5,000 chiropractors in Australia. Um, for those in private practice, the full-time weekly hours are actually about 36 hours compared to 40 on average. So we do tend to work slightly shorter weeks. And the average starting salary is generally around between about 71,000 to about 84,000 per annum. Um, this can vary a bit, as can your full-time salary, depending on what sort of practice you work for, how many um, hours you're doing and how many patients you see. So it is quite um, a flexible um, sort of uh, pay salary, um, just depending on, on what sort of work you end up doing. So why would you want to study chiropractic at Macquarie University? So firstly, we have wonderful facilities here. We have purpose-built labs for our chiropractic skills. Um, we have a whole floor of labs, um, and these have been designed um, to accommodate all the different tables that we need. We have um, different audio-visual capabilities. We have state-of-the-art video techniques so that um, everyone can see what the tutors are doing during the tutorials. Um, and this has all been set up to really optimize your learning. We also have access to the anatomy and histology labs. And um, these ones are actually at um, Macquarie Hospital. And here we have access to um, anatomical specimens, including cadavers. So you can actually see the anatomy on, um, on, the, on the cadavers rather than just on plastic specimens. In our final year, as I've mentioned, we also do clinical placements. Now here at Macquarie University, we have three clinics that we've been running for quite a long time. Um, and in your final year, you go into those clinics and you work as a chiropractor. So this is really your traineeship year. Um, here you're supervised by practicing chiropractors. You see patients who come in from the public um, and you're going to treat them for the conditions that they present with, which is a great opportunity to really um, you know, finalize your skills and really put it all together. We also have great opportunities for students outside of those clinics in their final year, where they can intern at um, different events. So we have a number of connections with different sporting clubs. Um, we go do field work at different sporting events. We also have contacts with um, geriatric placements. So you can really see a wide range of the community and see lots of uh, different types of events and how you could work with chiropractic at those different events. We have a wonderful teaching team here at Macquarie. Um, the teachers have um, widely different backgrounds, lots of different research interests, and we try and bring this cutting edge research into our teaching to make sure that we're teaching with the most up-to-date methods possible and making sure that we're really teaching evidence-based um, um, uh, chiropractic that's as up-to-date as we can um, make it. So here we have a quote from one of our previous students, um, David McNaughton. Um, he went through um, a few years ago now. He's now part of our research program and he's studying his PhD at the moment. And here he's saying that the chiropractic degrees gave him a great foundation for his work as a clinical chiropractor. Um, but one of his highlights, as he says here, is um, the friends that he made during that time. And we find this is really common. Um, the students in the chiropractic degrees, um, you're doing a quite a structured degree program, so you all tend to be in the same units together. Um, so you make really good friends right from the beginning and they go through your years with you and um, they become lifelong friends. That's one of the, the biggest thing we hear from students coming through Macquarie University is um, the quality of the education, but also that friendship group that they made during this time. So thank you very much for listening to 
to this presentation today. Please stay online now to ask any questions that you might have about the degree and how to get in and um, what um, you'll be studying through that. And also please stay connected with the Department of Chiropractic at Macquarie University through our Instagram and Twitter accounts. Thank you. Welcome back to the Medicine and Health Studio at Macquarie University Open Day Streamed. I hope you enjoyed that video presentation on the Bachelor of Chiropractic. My name is Gareth and I'm a second year medical student here at the university. I'm joined in the studio by Dr. Hazel Jenkins. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Chiropractic and she's here to answer all of your questions and to summarize some of the key points from her presentation. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. What we'll do now is we'll go through some of the Q&A that you guys have been submitting. And if you guys haven't submitted a question yet, feel free to submit a question in the right in the Q&A box and we'll try and answer it live in the studio. So thank you very much for coming today and we'll get started with the Q&A. Sounds good. So the first question that we've had come through is, how long does it take to become a chiropractor? Yep, okay, so um, to become a chiropractor, if you go through um, the degrees at Macquarie University, mm -hmm. it, can, it will take a minimum of five years if okay. you do full-time study. So that's a Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, which yeah. takes three years. And then um, if you graduate the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, you get um, direct entry into mm -hmm. our master's program okay. directly into the second year. So then okay. the master's program is shortened to two years, mm -hmm. giving five years in total. Okay. Yeah. And for students who are interested in becoming a registered chiropractor, they need to complete the master's program. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. And you can get into that through alternate pathways as well. Mm -hmm. So if you complete a different bachelor degree, so mm -hmm. not the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, um, it needs to be a, um, a health or science related degree and mm -hmm. you need to um, study units of anatomy and physiology, mm -hmm. but you can apply for entry into the Master of Chiropractic from that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and in which case you do a three year master degree. Okay. Fantastic. And for students that are coming into the Bachelor of Chiropractic, um, what are the, some of the placement opportunities that they're able to take advantage of while at Macquarie? Yeah, so in the um, Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, we like to get students hands on as much as possible mm -hmm. and as soon as possible. So even from first year, mm -hmm. very first tutorials, you'll be getting into um, learning about different skills, how mm -hmm. to assess the body, um, different ways to you know feel the muscles and mm -hmm. how to find out what's going on with the muscles and also with the joints. So mm -hmm. you get your hands on straight away. You have skills units all the way through the bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. Um, and then in the third year of the bachelor's degree, you actually get to do a placement where you get put into the clinics yeah. um, that we run. And um, there you'll get to observe um, uh, clinical consults mm -hmm. and find out what happens in the clinics more closely. Mm -hmm. um, then finally in the master's program, so, um, in the final year of that, you actually spend a full year in the clinics okay. and you become one of the treating clinicians mm -hmm. in there as a student. You're supervised by a practicing chiropractor mm -hmm. and you treat members of the public oh, going fantastic. In, um, to get treatments from you. Wow. So are there some clinics close to the university or where are these clinics located? Yep, we run three clinics. So ah. We've got one that's on campus here okay. at Macquarie Uni. Um, we have one in Eastwood and mm -hmm. we have one in Summer Hill. As okay. Well. So if I need something done, I can go to the clinic and Absolutely. potentially see a student? Yeah. That's yep. so cool. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And while they're studying at the Bachelor of Chiropractic, Will they be doing things like anatomy and some other things besides the physical classes? Yeah, absolutely. So we do, it's, it's a science degree. Mm -hmm. um, and then we put the chiropractic units in on top of that. Okay. So you'll still study um, sort of normal science subjects mm -hmm. like biology and chemistry and physics. Yep. Um, then you'll also do your anatomy units. So anatomy is a really big focus in yep. chiropractic. You need to know a lot of detail about the musculoskeletal system. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, we also do diagnosis units. Okay. You learn about different um, pathology and conditions that can occur throughout the rest of the body. Yep. Um, there's units on radiology as well, mm -hmm. um, on top of the, the skills units that okay. run all the way through. Fantastic, so there's a broad range of subjects that students are studying. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and for some of the students who might just be joining us and they're interested in chiropractics, but they're not really sure what a chiropractor actually does. Do you mind just kind of reiterating some of the things that chiropractors would do? Yeah, absolutely. So um, as a chiropractor, um, we treat the musculoskeletal system. Mm -hmm. So generally most chiropractors will work in private practice yeah. um, and patients will usually present with some sort of pain or mm -hmm. dysfunction um, in their musculoskeletal system. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, low back pain, neck pain yeah. are the most common things. Okay. But it could also be knee pain, ankle pain, shoulder pain, mm -hmm. you know, anything like that. 
Um, as a chiropractor, we then need to be able to assess that condition. Yeah. So we take a history of the patient okay. um, to find out what's going on. We do examination techniques to mm -hmm. test the different structures and try okay. and work out where the pain or the problem's coming from and okay. what we might be able to do mm -hmm. to help. Um, if we need to, we might have to send off for investigations like mm -hmm. x-rays or um, um, possibly to a GP for blood tests and things yeah. like that if, if we need to know a bit more information. Um, but if we can treat the patient, yeah. then um, we would perform a treatment which um, is aimed to try and help the, um, the body decrease the pain and mm -hmm. help the healing of the body. Okay. Um, and so that will include things like um, soft tissue work, mm -hmm. so massage, um, yeah. stretches, um, joint work on the joints to get the joints moving properly, so mobilizations or mm -hmm. manipulation. Um, exercises, like give patients home exercise programs. Yeah. So there's a wide range of techniques that we'll use to um, to help try and reduce the pain and improve movement. Fantastic. Your body. Sounds like there's such a comprehensive approach yeah. to the condition that the Absolutely. patients presented. That's right, and that's what you get through the bachelor and master program here is you know how to do the full comprehensive mm -hmm. assessment and then all the treatments for the patient. Fantastic. Yeah. Another common question that students often ask is, what's the difference between chiropractic and physiotherapy? Because um, they can be sometimes similar to students, but mm -hmm. are there any main differences? Yeah, and look, they are they can be quite similar. Mm -hmm. um, so as I said, chiropractors treat the musculoskeletal system and physios can do that as well. Yeah. Um, sort of historically, there was probably more of a difference mm -hmm. between the professions. Um, and historically, chiropractors tend to concentrate a lot more on joint manipulation, All right. um, whereas physiotherapists probably concentrated more on uh, more exercises. Okay. Um, as though we do more research and we learn mm -hmm. more about um, the musculoskeletal system and what mm -hmm. treatments are best for it, yeah. we're all trying to do the treatments that work best. So it becomes more and more similar. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, you know, these days going to a chiropractor or a physiotherapist for the same condition, you can end up getting quite similar treatments. Um, physiotherapy in general um, has a bit of a broader scope though, so yeah. whereas chiropractic tends to really focus on the musculoskeletal mm -hmm. system, physiotherapy can be a bit broader. And okay. so you get some physios that focus that way yeah. and others who might do um, rehabilitation after surgery in a okay. hospital, um, post-stroke rehabilitation, yeah. a few more broad okay. things. They might be, they tend to be integrated in the <laughs> hospital system more, okay. whereas chiropractors are more just in private practice. All right. And can chiropractors specialise? Um, is there like a general chiropractor and then a more specialised one? Um, a, a sort of, yeah. yeah. I mean, and you certainly can, and you'll get chiropractors who, um, you know, particularly see a certain type of population. Mm -hmm. We certainly get chiropractors who might focus more on sporting conditions mm -hmm. and then might work with sporting teams okay. and things like that. And there are different um, uh, degree opportunities run through colleges, etc., that might help with training for, for those sorts of things. It's not like in medicine where you've got uh, an actual specialty college mm -hmm. that you have okay. to go to to become that type of practitioner. Okay. Um, but yeah, we certainly do get chiropractors that will, you know, have a sort of, um, they'll take more patients who have of that particular okay. specialty. Thanks for your insight on that. No worries. We've had Gabrielle ask a question and she's asked as a, as a lecturer yourself, do you think the course is intensive? How um, many hours are students generally working in their first year of the degree at Macquarie? Yeah, okay. So yeah, it, look, it is a pretty intensive course. Mm -hmm. um, because we do have a number of practical courses and uh, yeah. practical classes, there's a fair bit of face-to-face -face time okay. on campus because you've got your skills units and you've got anatomy units, mm -hmm. both of which have um, multiple practical classes. Right. Um, so. I mean, it's a full. If you're doing a full-time degree, mm -hmm. you should be considering that as you know, needing 40 hours a week as you know, sort of full-time work okay. of, of having to um, do both face-to-face -face and home study through mm -hmm. there. I would say that face-to-face, -face, if you come in for your lectures as well, mm -hmm. you're probably looking at needing to spend about. 20 to 25 hours okay. a week on campus within that first year. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a fairly um, intensive degree. It's a it's a prescribed program yeah. so that you don't actually get any, there's no elective choices yeah. within the program. It's, it's very much prescribed because we have to meet certain accreditation the, yeah. requirements, etc. Um, so the nice thing about it though is that all the students tend to then for be in the same sort of classes. That's you great. get to know your cohort okay. really well and get to you know interact and then go through the next few okay. years with them. So it's really nice. So there's a great student experience to being in the the there is. Of yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. And for students wondering how they get into this amazing program, are there any entry requirements or prerequisites that students need to be aware of? Yep. So for the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, um, obviously there's the ATAR, mm -hmm. um, and that's usually about 80 yep. um, to, to get in, and that's been pretty standard for the last few years. Um, there's no other prerequisites for the mm -hmm. program. 
Um, there is a, um, in your first year, there is a physics unit that needs to be done. Okay. Now that physics unit does have a prerequisite requirement of, um, of high school maths mm -hmm. at a certain level. Um, how, and however, they, um, a lot of our students don't actually meet that requirement because a lot of okay. our students actually don't do maths at the level necessary or, mm -hmm. or maths or physics, sorry, at the le level necessary in the HSC. Yeah. So they don't meet that requirement. Okay. Um, so the physics department runs a bridging course, yeah. um, which you complete beforehand and that meets the prerequisite okay. instead. Yeah. So yeah, there's opportunities for students to get in even if they haven't quite met that. Yeah, there's okay. nothing you have to have done at high school to be able to complete our degree. Okay. We've got Great. other ways to do it. And for our students watching on the screen, if you'd like to find out more about our bridging courses at Macquarie, you can just search Bridging Courses Macquarie University um, on Google and you can find all the latest information there. We've had a student ask about, do all students who study chiropractic go on to be chiropractors or are there other job opportunities available for students? Yep. Um, so yeah, the majority of our students would go on to be chiropractors. Mm -hmm. um, so once you graduate from the Master of Chiropractic, you get registration with um, APRA yep. um, and um, then you can practice as a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to, you could go straight out and practice in a solo practice by yourself. Oh. Um, otherwise, the, most people would usually go and work as an associate mm -hmm. in an already established practice. Okay. Um, so that would be the vast majority of people. Mm -hmm. um, we do have other people though who go and do um, other things from the degree. Um, so we get people who decide they want to focus more on research mm -hmm. and so they might come back here and do a master's of research um, right. with us and follow more of that sort of pathway. Mm -hmm. um, we get people who um, use the degree and the knowledge they've learned to go into slightly different fields. Mm -hmm. So um, quite a few people go into things like um, uh, like pharmaceutical areas yeah. they actually go into. Um, workers' compensation mm -hmm. seems to be an area that quite a few people okay. go into as well because they can give quite a bit of good advice yeah. there. Um, and yeah, there's a few other job okay. opportunities like that, but yeah, Fantastic. most people do tend to go to private practice. But it still a, has a bit of a scientific focus to it, so they have yep. those skills that they can take out. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So they've got a Bachelor of Science effectively mm -hmm. with a bit of a chiropractic bent to it, but it's a Bachelor of Science. Okay. So anything you can do after a Bachelor of Science, yeah. you could do after a okay. Bachelor of Chiropractic Fantastic. Science as well. Thanks. We've had a question asked by Nathan, and I'll encourage anyone, if they still have questions, feel free to pop it in the Q&A button, uh, Q&A box on the right. Um, Nathan's asked, how has COVID-19 affected some of the face-to-face teaching? Because yep. chiropractic is obviously so hands-on, how has that um, impacted our teaching? Yeah, absolutely, and obviously it impact, impacted quite a bit. Yeah. Um, so last semester when mm -hmm. the university um, closed down, yep. um, obviously all face-to-face -face tutorials were, were closed. Mm -hmm. um, so we had to convert to an online format. Um, now the skills can't be taught online, yeah. it's impossible. <laughs> um, we did as much as we could though. So we moved a lot of the theory material from second semester forward so mm -hmm. we could focus more on theory while we were doing it all online. Um, we made lots of videos so that they could see techniques. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we did, we did as much as we could okay. that way. And um, we did a lot of the content then mm -hmm. in first semester that we would normally cover in second semester. Okay. Um, so luckily this semester, the university has opened tutorials back up again. Mm -hmm. um, and so now we're focusing a lot more on that practical work that they missed in first semester. So over the course of the year, everything will be covered. Okay. In the practicals, obviously we need, um, they will be working closely with each other. So mm -hmm. we can't maintain a 1.5 meter distance. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got everyone in masks, yeah. um, all the tables and all the equipment they mm -hmm. use are all being wiped down in between, hand sanitizer yeah, everywhere. Um, you know, all the standard precautions okay. are being taken. Um, but yeah, we, it's very important to us that mm -hmm. the students get the practical experience mm -hmm. that they need through this. And so we've been working very hard to make sure that's maintained even with the COVID situation. That's great that the department's taken all of those steps to keep up with face-to-face -face teaching. We've had um, another student ask about the facilities that are available to the chiropractors. So I understand that there's a dedicated chiro lab that students can go and practice. Mm -hmm. Did you want to expand a bit on that? Yep. So um, yeah, we've got a sort of a floor in one building mm -hmm. where we have all of our skills rooms. Um, so we've got uh, two big and one smaller skills rooms, mm -hmm. which have all the chiropractic tables in them. Mm -hmm. um, so these are quite large rooms. They're um, set for quite large tutorial sizes. Mm -hmm. We have um, cameras set up around the room. Mm -hmm. So whenever there's a demonstration going on, that's videotaped and put up okay. on the screens around so everyone can get a really good image of mm -hmm. what's happening in the middle and don't have to crowd around <laughs> to be able to see anything. Um, so they're really, really nice rooms. Um, and um, that's where students will do their skills 
um, skills classes. Um, there's also an open space room up there where we do some of the, um, the rehabilitations, like lots of exercises yeah. and things in there. Um, it's also where they learn about um, taking x-rays and, and how to position for those. And we've got an x-ray lab okay. up there as well. So okay. yeah, some dedicated spaces, which um, uh, actually particularly the video stuff is all brand new this year. So it's all okay. state of the art and, and really, really nice. <laughs> Great. So there's some fantastic facilities available. Absolutely. We've had Gabrielle ask another question and she's asked about early entry into the program. Is that available for the Bachelor of Chiropractic? Um, so the early entry, um, I'm not certain <laughs> to be That's honest. Okay. I can um, provide some de detail on that. Yes, because like. that tends to get run at the faculty level yeah. and through um, UAC, so that, okay. that'll be the entry. Sure. I do believe students have had early yeah. entry in the past, I'm just not sure what's happening okay. this year. Sure. So for students interested in early entry, we are running the Macquarie Leaders and Achievers program. You can find more information on that by searching Macquarie Leaders and Achievers in Google. Um, we've had another question come through about learning about spinal adjustments. Is that something that chiropractors do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, spinal adjustment is another word for manipulation. Uh -huh. Basically, it's what we do when we try and get the joints moving better. Okay. And so that's one of the large things that chiropractors have been known to do. Mm -hmm. um, and we still practice quite a bit of. And so it's, we do um, have a lot of our tutorial time dedicated to learning how to do okay. those techniques safely and comfortably for the patient and so that they know when's best to do them as well. Okay. Um, and so those sort of techniques would be basically um, uh, putting a force through a joint mm -hmm. um, to try and get more movement in that joint okay. which will then help to decrease pain for the patient, increase movement mm -hmm. and help that healing, okay. healing process. So it's one of the tools that a chiropractor has to managing a patient. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. We've had a student ask about clinical placement. So is that something that takes place in the bachelor or is it more in the masters of chiropractic? Um, so a little bit in the bachelor's, so in the <laughs> third year in the PACE unit, yeah. um, they do um, go into the clinics and it's more of an observation at that <laughs> point. Um, but so they can really see all the theory that they've been learning <laughs> um, being put into practice within <laughs> the clinics. And they can also get a bit of a feel for how the whole clinic runs, not just in a treatment, but also um, you know, from the front desk at the reception to, <laughs> to see how everything runs through of there. Course. Um, and then in the final year of mm -hmm. the program, um, that's their clinic internship year. Okay. So the students each have to do at least two treating shifts mm -hmm. and one reception shift okay. um, throughout the entire year. Mm -hmm. um, they see members of the public um, for treatments. Um, we also have x-ray facilities there where they take x-rays as mm -hmm. well. And um, that's all done under the supervision of um, a clinician. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, to pass the year, there is, you know, you have to see a certain number of patients, of you have to take a certain number of x-rays, there's all these requirements <laughs> that you have to okay. do. Um, but it's a really great year for the students when they get to put into practice everything they've learned throughout mm -hmm. the previous um, four or five years yeah. and um, put it all together to help people. So it's a really good year. I have had a few people that I know that have gone through the program. They absolutely enjoy the clinical placements. Yeah. So it's great that there's such an opportunity to bring all their teaching together and graduate as a safe and um, patient-centered chiropractor. Yep. Thank all right, thank you so much for your time today, Dr. Jenkins. Yep. Um, thank course. you for answering the questions from the students and thank you for your presentation earlier on in the se segment. Thank you guys for tuning in to the medicine and health stage here at Macquarie University Open Day Streamed. If you guys have any more questions about the Bachelor of Chiropractic, you can pop them down in the live chat section at the bottom of the website. It's in the left-hand corner. And you can also check out some of the frequently asked questions and PDFs available further down the screen. If you'd like to stay, you can have a look around some of the other elements of the website. We have Studio Central up there, which is talking a bit more about student experience right now from current students. We also have a number of different channels that you can check out to see what you're interested in. Thank you so much for tuning into our stage. Our next stage coming up is at 3 p.m. and it'll be the Bachelor of Human Sciences. Thank you for joining us at Open Day Streamed.